Training is just too tough. Here's NBC's Bob Dotson in 1996. World Championship Wrestling. Who watches these guys? Well, we're told you do. About 20 million of you every week. Have you ever wondered where they get these brutes? For all you would-be Hulk Hogan's, the way to the top may be through this place called the Power Plant. Here in this Atlanta gym, the superstars of tomorrow learn their trade today. Well, what we do is we make them go through it the right way thousands of times. You know what I mean? Or as many times we can force them to. So therefore, when they get an opportunity to be able to show their wares, it ain't nothing but just like smooth cake walk right. Instructor Pez Watley has been in the business 22 years. And I picked him up and the cameras say it's right where the guys are now, right? What I would wind up doing is by the time I got him and I done my spin, I'd be facing the camera when I came down the landing. The nuts and bolts instruction offers more than just pins and headlocks. Training covers both body and soul. When I came here, I was about 50 pounds heavier than I am now. I got down here, found out that I knew nothing. You change as you learn and find out what you like and what you don't like. The power plant has a three-day tryout every month. Those tough enough to make it are invited back for a six-month course at a cost of $3,000. Big money but a small price to pay for a shot at your dream. Give me the fame and give me the money, I don't care. Michael Mosley is ahead of the pack. He got himself a manager, brought him along. If we could do this thing, he's going to be the new, new champion of the WCW. My kids, want, I got three little boys and they want me to try, so I'll give it a shot. You mean you've been wrestling in the living room and now you figure you're making <laughs> big time? Give it a shot. The pull of this dream is strong. One guy tried out on his honeymoon left his bride in a motel, and drove 12 hours to get here. <laughs> Not tonight, honey. I've got a headache. out there. You know, them want to be sit at the home on the couch and look at TVs. Oh, Nelly, I can do that. Bring me another beer, Margie. You know what I mean? And they figure out, well, I can come there and do that. Well, welcome to the first step. Was it worth the pain? No. You ever going to look at professional wrestling quite the same way? No. Either do your squats or get out of my face. I ain't got time for this. This is the hardest part. A lot of people at my job ain't expecting anything less than me telling them I made it. So uh, this is the hardest part right here. If you're looking for a happy ending, don't look now. None of the wrestlers we spoke to will be coming to a ring near you anytime soon. The dropout rate at this school is 85%. So who does make it? The most persistent guy. The guy that got that heart, that don't just right here, but just come all the way down here. It's a commitment. Come on, baby. So in that commitment, you got to have that heart. Heart and a lot of ham. More heart and ham coming right up when we continue. A look at a wrestling hero of an earlier era, Antonino Roca. We'll visit a man with a passion for high art and the thrill of the ring. Maybe and more from Pro Wrestling's contribution to the world of government.